Hi, this, uh, this video goes out to Zonia Weisenbaker, who's a really good friend of mine. Um, she texts me saying something about that my, um, a couple, and two of my videos were a little, a little over the place. That is the creative process. I am, I am sorry to say that's just the way it is. Um, there is, um, uh, it is all over the place. Um. I know in my first two videos, I was a little jumpy. I was a little, you know, on the nervous side and everything. And I blacked out on a few things that I was saying. And that's fine. And that's just the way it is. Um, but um, it's, uh, uh, you know, Stephen King said something about that. Uh, he was talking to a, a group of uh, college kids. And he was saying that he's writing this uh has nothing to do with paranormal has nothing to do with it's just his book uh it's just a book that he's writing and he says it, if i get finished with this it will be published and he was he was he was going on saying that and and he go and then he and i remember him go it's going to get published okay i'm about i'm not that i'm not that far off of being done with it um what he was saying is that he has a lot of works that he has strewn about that's why i am if you go to wattpad if you go and see me on booksy you would notice that you would notice that a lot of things aren't finished and complete some could have just been bad ideas you know and you will notice that sometimes they're there sometimes they're not and sometimes they're there again because i pulled them out changed it worked on it and, and, and say let's let's try this again you know and everything some of them just keep it just for right now as i'm working on my uh my story um my uh, my sexual adventure that i'm working on right now i worked on an intro to uh, flame that i like a lot better uh, because I didn't know how to really start uh, that that story. Any story is hard to start in the beginning. Any story is hard to end <laughs> as well. I actually better at ending a story than actually starting a story. Um, be, I don't know why, um, but a lot of people, a lot of uh, writers have problems with uh, uh, with with the ending part and that could be tricky you know what i mean did you paint yourself in a corner and if you did you're gonna have to start you know and 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 find out you know where you paint yourself in a corner and rewrite that so that you can actually get yourself out of that or if you made yourself look like you painted yourself in a corner but you're able to get out of it and the writer for Doctor Who. Uh, which was my favorite, and he retired from it. Um, the writer there, uh, he would do that all the time. Like, how is he going to get out of himself out of this? You know, he, the doctor, you know, uh, he has this and this and this, you know, all this stuff going on and everything. How the hell is he going to get out of it? And he always does. And he always, it's right in front of your face half the time. That's good writing. That, that's a very, that's a, that's Stephen Moffat, if I'm not mistaken, um, that wrote uh, for Doctor Who for many years and everything. I really don't care for the new the new doctors. And after Stephen Moffat left, it hasn't been it hasn't really been that great. Um, a friend of mine from uh, uh, Amazon, uh, Amazon, yeah, my friend from uh, Australia said something to me. He says. They probably could use you. They need better <laughs> writers. Uh, and he wasn't kidding. Uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, I don't know how much better I would be. But anyway. Um, so, yeah, the creative process is all over the place. It's very sporadic. It doesn't help much when you're dyslexic. You have problems with keeping on point, keeping everything on point. I think most people do anyway. Um, especially in this day and age, everybody's minds are all over the place, scattered. Um, you know, the whole, you know, um, keeping 
you know, you or, or anybody entertain anymore is just ridiculous. I mean, even adults are just like worse than kids anymore. Uh, so it, it makes uh, entertainment even more um, challenging, you know, to say the least. Um, but um, what I was talking about in the first two of my videos was you can't be a writer. Before I say that, I want to finish this one thing up about keeping things on point, okay? Um, great programs are out there. Um, Google Docs is really good. I like it. I also have problems with it, too. I have noticed I have made changes and changes and changes. And they would say, save, save, save. And I'm like, okay, good. And then I noticed that I it goes it seems like it goes into default into what you you last said and you, you know like i already fixed this what is going on you know uh i've had that happen to me um if you change it here on your laptop it takes a while for the you know, for the cellular you know uh, mobile device to catch up with it sometimes that happens right you have to kind of open it up and you know I, I know about Lincoln e, you know, and all that. It, you know, it's, it is what it is. I do like it, though. It's a good program, uh, uh, Google Docs, because, you know, then you can store, you know, then you can make little folders for it, and you can put, you know, whatever folder you want, you know, like My Sexual Adventure and all these chapters are in you know, everything, and, and you can, they're very accessible to you. What I really do like, is Scrivener. Scrivener is one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite um, softwares. It is daunting. To, uh, it's very daunting uh, to learn at first, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. What I really like about it is that you can make character notes. You can make notes uh, notes for your places of where they are, England, you know, and all that. And then, and then you could store pictures of places like England so you you could have a visual effect as you're writing it so you know I mean you're not totally making everything up but you have a good uh, uh, a template of what you're looking at and everything and it, it, it Scrivener is only 45 bucks uh you could try it for free uh it's worth worth going I will I will post a uh um a website in this in this description um so just look in the bottom for it and everything i think you'll really 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 enjoy it um and then there's other other programs i i really can't remember right now but scrivener also has what's really nice with scrivener they even have a pegboard so you can make little notes and put them on the peg you know virtual pegboard and everything instead of having it all over your uh, house I never really used the index card. I never really understood how to use that uh, and everything. I just, I usually can stay on point when I'm writing. I don't really have a problem with that. Sometimes I forget, you know what I mean? I, like, I, like I said in one of those videos, I said um, blue eyes and it was green, you know, and that's just easy stuff you can fix. And some people's eyes do change color. Some people will will have blue and some you know and uh um and that that does happen but uh, i'm not going to be lazy and just let it go <laughs> like that it's going to be blue um so anyway uh uh like i said the creative process is over i think that's why dyslexic people do well in creativity because their minds are all over the place anyway um and it's just kind of when you uh, have an idea you have to hone the in and you got to keep that you know and everything and another thing too is that you get bored with it and that's why i have a lot of other projects going on so i don't get bored you know as well so and if i have a if i'm stuck and i don't know where to go with this then i'll just uh, you know um, work on something else and everything so so, yeah, Scrivener, Google Docs, and there's another one 
it's right on the tip of my tongue, and I just can't think of it right now. Uh, you know, to help you, you know, any, I mean, hell, I mean, Windows has tons of other stuff that you can you can use. Um, uh, if you don't want to use Windows, you know, Office, I paid, I think it was like, it's almost 20 bucks. It's like 15, I think 15 or 16 dollars. I use Trio. It's on Google, uh, Google. It's on uh, Microsoft's uh, um, uh, office or uh, store, uh, app store and everything. I think uh, it's great. I mean, it's exactly like um, Office Suite. You get everything, spreadsheets and all that, you know, and all that stuff. If you like to work on that, there's tons of programs that you can really do um, to keep yourself organized thing. Scrivener, I think, is just the best. It's at your fingertips because you can't remember your character's name. You have it right there, and you can drop it down, see the list, keep continue to write, and keep looking. You know, and I was also saying about in my first video, uh, like um, you know, chapters and, and and things like that, and how things are written. Like I said, if you're dyslexic, listen to audiobooks. You know, I do. It works. It's so much better. Um, and then, if you really, what I really like to do is that when I buy a book on Amazon, I would get the audio version with it. It's usually a few more more dollars. It's not going to hurt anybody. Then you do that, and then you listen to it, and then you read a, the book, or you read the book side by side while listening to it, or whatever. Uh, I also have. Um, uh google fire or well it's the it's the tablet not fire but you know um but yeah it's the google tablet and every or amazon tablet um and uh and it has a new function now you can actually read it they read the whole book to you too as, as well then you can learn how now how do they write a whisper how do they write you know how did this particular writer you know, wrote uh, in um, a hillbilly accent or a French accent or, you know, or whatever. Um, you really shouldn't write dialect. It's just going to really screw up. I started a, that was Flame, uh, and it was in uh, Wales for some reason. I, I really liked Wales, and I thought Wales and werewolves could actually be kind of cool. You know, were, <laughs> werewolves and whales could be kind of cool and I thought that'd be kind of neat and everything so um so yeah um writing dialect um you 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 like I said you can have little nuances and how they if they're uneducated you know you know instead of poor you know it's uh, Paul <laughs> you know or, you know or you know what I mean? Uh, someone who's uneducated might actually mispronounce a certain word. I do it all the time. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm uneducated, but it just means it, it just means I have a hard time, you know, saying that word. And a lot of times I do. So, um, so that you know, like I said, I think that's I think that's a really good advice for everybody, in my opinion. I think it's really, really, really good advice for for a lot of people um, that really want to, you know, but they may not have time to sit and really read books all day long. We all have jobs. Stephen King once says, "If you don't have time to read, you don't have, to, you have time to write." It's totally different. Um, you know, I mean, if I sat down and read all the time, I wouldn't write anything. <laughs> I just, it wouldn't, I wouldn't have the time to do it. Um, so um you write when you can i when i'm on break i use my cell phone and i use my uh, google docs on cell phone and i start writing when i'm on break when I'm on lunch when I'm, you know whatever i'm always writing no matter where i'm at and it, it sucks when you don't have good wi-fi connection or good internet connection and sometimes you can't but you know what i mean but you do have you know these these things. Someone asked me. It was a woman who asked me um, at a job site that I was at. She goes, 
do you write notes and everything? I can pretty much retain information pretty good in my uh, in my head and everything. Um, second, of course, it's low battery. Hold on. Oh, it just fell off. Stupid. I was wondering why it was so dim. So anyway, yeah, I'm pretty good at retaining information anyway. So, but I have, you know, I've had ideas, you know, when I'm in bed sleeping and everything, and I, I thought I'll remember it. <laughs> I can't remember it to save my life. <laughs> Just can't remember it. Um, so, uh, so that happens, or you remember fragments of it and everything. So. It's all about keeping yourself organized, and that's I think it's more harder for guys than it is for women. Um, you know, it's just the way it is. Um, uh, the two, the two differences, you know, and everything. Um, another thing too is that you gotta think about what you want to. Um, You know, what point of view, and that was the thing that I really never really thought too much about. I remember Zonia asking me, well, what point of view is this from? You get people, you get people, and they mean well and everything, but sometimes some people, what, they just, it's almost like they, it's like they, it's like they want to have insight to something. You really can't worry about point of view when you're writing your first draft. You can't worry about it. You might have an idea, and, and the idea might show up in your first draft or in your second draft, but you get more pronounced as you go for third, fourth, whatever. You try, you should try to cut down as many drafts as possible. Obviously, uh, try to write as clean as you can possibly can. That's difficult, um, but you, you know, if you do that, you're fine. You know, and everything. Um, so, um, uh, the creative process is a double-edged sword. It's a it, 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 only talented people, or not talented, but only um, yeah, creative people. You know, live and die by it. You know, um, not all ideas are going to be good. Not all ideas are going to turn into books. Not all ideas are going to be short stories. Not all ideas are going to be published. Have as many as ideas as you possibly can. Think outside the box. Um, do you know? Do you you know? Do what you can when you're doing editing um, and everything. Um, you know, Jessica ha has helped me. She's dyslexic. She's an author. Um, she's helped me with one short story that I wrote, and and it, 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 she was saying you're trying to take something that's a more of a novel. Into a short story and it's not going to work. You're, you know, it's <laughs> it's like having you know uh, twenty pounds of crap <laughs> and you're trying to fit it into this little tiny bag <laughs> and you're not and it ain't, ain't going to work. You know, it's going to burst and it's going to burst big time. But I have re rewritten Stickman where it was more of a short story. Uh, it got a lot of hits on Booksy and everything. I don't know if anybody really enjoyed it. I don't know, um, you know, if it was, you know, what people liked or whatever. It was a lot more creepier. It was a lot more sinister um, because I got feedback and said, well, he only sang, you know, like these violent nursery songs. So I thought that's kind of creepy into itself. You don't know what the person's thinking about. He's just off in a distance, just kind of like really blank, you know, blank expression on his face and singing all these, you know, you know, you know, very violent, very creepy nursery songs. I think that's pretty spooky. You know, I don't think it really, you know, him killing cats, you know, in the neighborhood. I think, I think just that itself is spooky to itself. So, and that's just uh, creative differences you know if someone else had and everything but but you know take as much feedback as you can from people 
if it wasn't for Zonia that said something about what point of view are you, I didn't think about that. That was something I really didn't, and it irritated me, yes, but it got me to thinking, you did, and that was what Jessica was saying when she was editing my, my work. It was actually a first draft. I shouldn't have even had it edited. Uh, I paid 15 bucks for it, which is too bad. So, But I got good feedback, and I got good insights. You know, uh, you're going to get people who are going to say the story sucks and it's not good, but they're not going to tell you why because they don't know. <laughs> but they know it sucks, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Uh, it's the people that I respect that says it sucks because of this. It sucks because of that, you know. You know, they don't, a lot of people don't worry about the, um, the spelling mistakes that you're going to make or whatever. Um, they just worry about, you know, the ones who are more professional and, and you know, looking at something like that, they're, what they're more worried about is the story in itself. They, at the end, they will talk about the, you know, spelling corrections. Um, you know, you need to correct this because that's not the right, you know, word for that. And uh, I get mixed up with then, then, and then, and then, <laughs> T-H-A-N versus T-H-E-N. I get, you know, that and there, you know, T-H-E-R-E, then, you know. Like he's over there, and then the possessive, that's theirs. <laughs> you know, it gets it gets it gets kind of complicated, but I I figured it out. It's not that bad. You know, once you keep writing, and you keep, and the main thing is, you gotta keep writing. You gotta keep writing. You're not gonna get any better. Um, you know, to that's to all the dyslexic people out there. It's gonna be painful. You know, even if you don't want to be a writer, people are going to judge you by how you articulate yourself on paper or how you articulate yourself um, by voice. We prefer to do it by voice, you know. Um, but uh, but you know, by paper it sucks. I mean, it really does for you know for a person who's dyslexic. Um, I was at a hairdresser. You know, someone cut my hair recently and. And she had this, like, she has this, like, she, I understand exactly what you're talking about. And the only way you can really describe uh, dyslexia to somebody who doesn't have it. And I was kind of wondering if this is how she felt with it. Well, a beautiful, girl, very attractive woman. And, uh, and I said, it's like living in a mirage. Um, because when I read my stuff, all the things that are wrong, I actually read it as right, and because that's how I see it. And then when I, you know, and that when I turn like um, book reports in when I was a kid in element or you know elementary or even junior high, mostly junior high, uh, to Mr. Dylan Snyder, and he was like, "This is gibberish. This makes absolutely no sense." But it made complete sense to me. So, um. So it's like almost like an autocorrect in your head, you, you know what I mean? So what you're seeing is not really what it, it's there. My ex-wife uh, in Florida, Allison, she uh, would notice when I do math, she says, I can't believe how many times you have to check yourself in that one. She says, you exhaust me by doing it because I said, I can't trust my eyes for what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing isn't always what I'm seeing. You know, I mean, it gets better as you get older. I think the reason why it gets better as you get older is because your brain slows down a little bit. And I find out more and more when I'm writing that I'm not taking my time to think about what I'm I'm saying. I'm just, it's not the fact I'm rushing myself. It's just the fact that my mind is moving a lot faster. The, what, what the rest of my body can move and so as you get older you, you get a little bit more you, you kind of slow down you know you slow down a little bit in your thinking and, it, and it's more clear and I think that's why you're absorbing a lot more stuff so uh you know um I would like to read um what I wrote on flame uh, uh 
either later on t today or, or maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure um, because I got a few appointments uh, that I got to get to. Uh, so I'm putting all these videos out as much as I can when I have the time. Um, but, um, but yeah, um, another thing I want to say too is um, I'm planning on making my stories into audio. I could, I could do that through Booksy. Booksy has a page where you can actually put your stories in audio. Now I would have to uh, record my voice on a separate, on the laptop, then transfer it over, you know, to, to Booksy and everything. And, you know, I'm going to see how that works out. Uh, because I have friends that probably will have a real hard time reading some of my stuff. And I want my stuff to be as accessible to everybody as much as I possibly can. It's just fair. You know, I mean, if you, if you can write a whole book, book in Braille. <laughs> You know, you could make audio videos or audio, you know, uh, you know, recordings on, on, on your book and everything. So, so that being said, uh, this is going to be it. So keep writing. See ya.